friends, my name is Tamika Lake and I have the privilege of being Executive Director of Family Promise of Beaufort County. For anyone who is unfamiliar with our agency, we provide temporary shelter, stability, and permanent housing solutions for homeless families with children 18 and under. We are currently the only shelter in Beaufort and Jasper counties and offer a hand up, not a handout. Homelessness is a growing crisis in our area and with the scarcity and affordable housing, rising apartment rent, we see an increase in our need for get on track funds. This program provides short-term rental or utility assistance to help families remain in their homes. If that is not possible, we assist in locating homes that fit their budget. Our program can be the difference between a safe place to live and homelessness. The Collins Group grant application will allow our agency to provide much needed support to our community and realize our vision of every child will have a home. Hi, I'm Janie Lackman with Good Neighbor Medical Clinic. I wanted to share what we do here at Good Neighbor. Good Neighbor provides free primary care services to low income uninsured adults. Last year, we serviced over 700 patients and provided four, over $4.2 million in services and prescriptions to those patients. We are so excited to be part of the Collins Realty Group grant program, and we're hoping that you vote for us so we can continue providing these services. Just $1 donated to Good Neighbor allows us to provide $8.34 of services to our patients. We're providing critical work here. We're diagnosing cancers, we're helping with diabetes, we're helping with hypertension, we're keeping our health, our community healthy. Please support us, consider giving us your bed. Hi, I'm Kristen, the CEO for Hopeful Horizons, and we're really excited to have the opportunity to tell you about what we do. We are a Children's Advocacy Domestic Violence and Rape Crisis Center serving Beaufort County and the surrounding areas. We're the only organization of our type in providing services to survivors of domestic violence, child abuse, and sexual assault. And we are looking for support for our Furnish a Future program, which is really a wonderful program that's volunteer led. And it works primarily with um, women and children who are exiting, exiting our emergency domestic violence shelter and going into their own homes. Um, and Furnish a Future comes in and helps the clients find all the furniture, all the furnishings, everything they might need to make their house a home. And they work with the client to set everything up and get it ready so when the client walks into the place for the first time, it's home from day one. And it's just magical how it works. And we are so grateful for the opportunity to seek support and we hope that you will support us. Thank you to the Collins Group Realty for the opportunity to receive a grant to enhance the literacy program at Programs for Exceptional People, better known as PEP. PEP's mission is to promote independence, social interaction, and employment opportunities for adults who live with intellectual, physical, and developmental disabilities. Using the computer's purchase from this grant, we will teach computer skills that will improve literacy ability and provide vocational skills. Amanda, how will you use the computers? To read and to, to type. type. Yeah, we will teach you that. And Nick, how will you use the computers? To look at job skills. So if we were to receive this grant, this grant would help us teach our members new technology that will help diminish or eliminate barriers faced by people with disabilities, especially those related to computers and technology. It is hoped that this program can provide, provide tasks such as reading and writing, reading documents, communicating with others, and searching for information they would like to find online. My name is Caitlin Shank, and I'm the Executive Director for Jasper Animal Rescue Mission. We are the county shelter for Jasper County. We turn no animal away that's in need from within Jasper County. We're also a 501c3 nonprofit organization. That means we rely heavily on donations, grants, fundraisers, and community support. We operate out of a small, outdated, and overcrowded facility. One of our biggest issues is a lack of storage space. We currently use an old, broken down box truck for storage to store things such as cat litter, extra blankets, and crates. We hope to use this funding to purchase a new storage shed. This will give us a safe, secure area to store uh, our 
much needed donations and supplies out of the elements. We also hope to purchase some cabinetry to store our medical supplies, cleaning supplies, and other necessities. We have an incredibly hardworking staff that does everything they can to take care of these little guys, and we want to give them everything they need to do the best job they possibly can. Thank you for supporting Jasper Animal Rescue Mission. I'm Ann with Low Country Legal Volunteers. We are so excited to be in the top 10 finalists to get a grant from the 200th home sale from Collins Group Realty. Low Country Legal Volunteers has been serving the community with free legal services for well over 20 years. We help people in dire needs of family law matters, wills and healthcare powers of attorney, as well as housing matters. We help people that are facing unsafe housing situations. And what we'll use for funding with the $2,000 that we get if we get your vote would be to help people in clinic at Volunteers in Medicine, Hilton Head Island, and Bluffton Jasper Volunteers in Medicine. Thank you so much for your support and thank you Collins Group Realty. Mental health has become an increasing concern in our national conversation, especially when it comes to our youth. NAMI Low Country is the National Alliance on Mental Illness serving your community. We're currently working with the Beaufort County School District and have events scheduled in July, September, and spring of 2024. These events are free to the community. They don't come free to us. We're asking you to help us support our youth and help us offset problems before they become a bigger crisis and life-changing events. We believe early intervention can change someone's life and put them on the correct course for treatment, recognizing how to treat and understand the tools and the resources are available. All of our services are free. We serve the families as well. And we're asking you to help us help our community. Thank you so much. Neighborhood Outreach Connection. Knock is a grassroots community development organization on Hilton Head Island, but we have six learning centers throughout Beaufort County. Vote for us and help NOC uplift the underserved communities. We teach people how to fish with our education, workforce community development, and health and wellness programs. We provide 100% scholarship, which means free tuition to all of our programs for both students and adults. By choosing NOC, you will allow our children and adults to have better access to technology and enhance their skills, knowledge, and provide opportunities for communities in need. We can make an impact together in the lives of the poor by providing them access and experiences that will uplift them. Vote for NOC. Hello, my name is Marcus Tanner. I'm the Executive Director for Second Helpings, and I just want to take this opportunity to thank Collins Realty for this, uh, this amazing blessing to be able to apply for a grant. Uh, we're so thankful for what you guys do in the community, and we're really gracious to be a part of this. Uh, for those of you who don't know a little bit about Second Helpings, we're a local food rescue organization. We go to all the grocery stores and we pick up food and we deliver it to all of the pantries and soup kitchens in the Beaufort, Jasper, and Hampton County agencies. Uh, we do this free of charges and cost them a dime. Uh, and what we've noticed is there's kind of a gap between what we rescue and what they need. And so what we're going to do with this grant, this $2,000 grant, is we're going to purchase fresh produce, fresh proteins uh, from local distributors. And at $1.15 a pound, that's going to put about 1,800 pounds into the local community for our friends and neighbors to be able to take part of that. So we just want to say thank you for all that you do. And uh, be on the lookout for our trucks. They're a little bit bigger than this, but you'll see them on the road. And our volunteers were 400 stronger out there every day making this happen. So we just want to say thank you for all that you do. God bless. Visitors are coming to our island. Restaurants are busy. Hotels are full. Villas and homes are being rented. And who supports this industry we call hospitality? Those people who are cleaning villas and serving in restaurants and maintaining our landscape. They don't work just nine to five on Monday through Friday. They're on the job through the weekend. Summer Saturdays and the Children's Center has a program, especially for those people who work on Saturday. Each week from April to September, the Children's Center provides programming for children ages two through eight that includes nutritious meals, fun activities, a safe space. We are asking you to support the working families of our community by voting for the Children's Center.